Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are just gonna do a day in the life, hanging out, quarantine style. What do you think, little man? Today's video is also a collab with my good friend Katie Mullins. She has an amazing YouTube channel where she shares homemaking content and day in the life vlogs about her experience with her stepson and husband on their family ranch. So you get to see all sorts of cute animal babies. She also does amazing giveaways on her Instagram, which I'll also link down below. So head to her channel, comment on her videos, and let her know that I sent you. I know you guys will absolutely love all of her videos. It is about 9.50 right now, almost 10. We've just been hanging out. I joined TikTok, as we all do during quarantine, apparently. It's a lot of fun. I have two little sisters that are way younger than me, and they were all about it. The youngest one was especially all about it already, but quarantine made me do it. What can I say? And that's why I've got my Elsa garb on right now, because I did a TikTok about that. So... Go follow me if you want to see. Apparently we have a demon in the house. Look how cute this little chair is. My mother-in-law got it for him. I just picked it up yesterday. Yesterday I went on a wild goose chase to find toilet paper. So we live in a small town and our nearest Target is like 25 minutes away. The nearest Costco is 45 minutes away. So I did this whole master plan. I went to Target first, tried to get there early. And I was able to go in and get toilet paper. I needed some freezer meals and all sorts of things as well. So I went to Costco and I was just going to pick up toilet paper there as well just to have for me and my family. My mom has three children and it's really hard to find toilet paper in our town as I'm sure it is with everyone else. What is wrong? He's mad because the page that he wants open won't open. Let me help you. You want that one? Oh wow. Oh wow. But I got there and I had to get a new card printed and by the time I had gotten there and got the card printed they were out of toilet paper which was really silly but luckily I had gotten that target before so it all worked out. I got a bunch of good stuff and it was overall a successful trip. Everybody was really good about social distancing and everything was successful and I also grabbed some fabric So I'm going to attempt to make my own face mask today because I'm sure as you also know face masks in the box are super hard to find and Do you hear my cat? He does that all the time. It's actually my husband's cat and it drives me insane But Gonna attempt to do that today and then just show you guys what we do when we're hanging out in quarantine. I just got him a couple more of his favorite books, which he is chewing on right now. His favorite books are the how, no, not how to. His favorite books are the Never Touch Us series. So they have Never Touch a Dragon, Never Touch a Dinosaur, Never Touch a Monster. And on Amazon, they have a really good deal right now. The books are only like $5 to begin with. But they are buy two, get one free. So great deal. So you, you get three great books. And those are his absolute favorite. And everybody I know that uses them say that they're their favorite as well. What do you think? Hmm. Mm. Yeah? <gasps> Show me your book. Oh, so good. You want me to read it to you? I'm gonna read him his book. My love is growing cold, you're leaving out the door And say I don't know when I'll be home Like needles in my heart, it's tearing me apart Just trying to find a light in the dark I know that you're afraid, believe me when I say It's alright, we'll get by Our colors fade away, I hope it's just a phase I tell myself that we'll be okay so hold on to me, baby, hold on Put your hands into mine, wanna feel you close So hold on to me, baby, hold on It's our new game. It's his favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
something better than baby laughs? <laughs> something else that I would highly suggest as a quarantine purchase if you do have the funds available, buy a ball pit. Seriously, this thing keeps Oliver so preoccupied. Oh, I was laughing so hard yesterday. I was sitting in here with him playing in his room and he was just like bouncing off the walls in there, running around in a circle, just like doing his rock back and forth thing. And I look over and he's just stopped. And I'm like, I'm like, what is going on? I look at his face and he is dead asleep, you guys. <laughs> like passed out in his ball pit. I was able to scoop him up and put him in his crib and he slept for two hours after that. But it is a good testament to how fun it is for him. He loves it. I'll show it to you guys one more time. He's brought like a million toys in there because he likes to play with his toys in his ball pit. But it's super small, super cute. I think it was together like 120 bucks for the balls and for the pit. And I'll link that in the description box below. I know that you're afraid. Believe me when I say it's alright. Well, that was <laughs> very interesting. So right when I stopped the film, something went wrong with the sewing machine. My mother-in-law knows how to work them and something is broken underneath it. If you're sewing savvy and you'd love to help me, I would love your help because something is going wrong when threading the bobbin. We're doing everything right. We watched this video on YouTube from the company like 500 times and it's just not working. It is not picking up the thread from the bobbin to join the two from like the top needle and then the bottom thread. It's just not joining it. it you can see the mechanism isn't going all the way around. So. We don't know what to do. She was trying to work on it for like an hour and a half and it just wasn't working. It feels so bad. Super frustrating when stuff like that happens. And what what are you going to do? I got one side of my mask perfectly great and then a half of it totally fine. So I have one and a half of a mask. So we're not sure what to do yet. Obviously because it's quarantine we can't really take it in to have anybody look at it or tell us what the heck to do with it but if you're sewing savvy and you have any idea what I'm talking about I would love to hear your opinion. Anyway I just put Oliver down for his nap and I wanted to pop on here and do a little bit of a life update. So I am pretty much used to doing the solo parenting thing on the week and weekdays and my husband is gone as I've mentioned before and he comes back, he'll actually be coming back tonight, tonight is Thursday, so he comes back late Thursday and leaves at like 4 or 5 a.m. on Sundays and it's been interesting just because like it is quarantine so we can't get out and do any of the things that I like to do going out with Oliver and it's sad because he absolutely loves going to the store and he hasn't been to the store in weeks because whenever I go somebody else watches him because I just don't want to bring him out for obvious reasons so it's been interesting and there really hasn't been that many nice days and I think that that's helping because seeing a gorgeous day outside and not being able to like go to the park or go do anything or like hang out with friends is really a huge bummer and you know, it's just one of those things I think that is actually working to my favor in this quarantine and I've been able to get a lot of schoolwork done. So, I mean, 50-50. It is harder to do schoolwork when Oliver's around and it's just me watching him though because his naps are so all over the place. I can never tell that if he's going to nap for a half hour or a whole hour or two hours. And it's hard because sometimes taking tests, you're on a time limit. So you can't really like pause and take a break. You have to just go for it. So it's interesting. And I mean, I don't want to spend that time doing schoolwork. The very little time that Justin's here, I'd rather just spend quality time. So it's a learning curve, but it is going well. And yesterday I did end up going out. I went on a scavenger hunt for toilet paper, was able to find some at Target. I went early in the morning and I didn't see anywhere online, but they did have it closed. Um, I, I keep hearing Tuesdays and Thursdays are when they close like the early morning hours to let the immune compromised in. 
and it was Wednesday and they were still doing that so they didn't let any of the general public in until 9 o'clock. Got in there, was able to get some toilet paper. I already had it on my list to go to Costco and if they had toilet paper at Costco I was just going to get some there so I didn't have to worry about that for a long time. But I went there, I had to get a new little membership card because my mom put me on her membership so we didn't have to have separate ones. It's not like we go very often anyway, like at all. It's 45 minutes away. So I had to go to the front desk first and there was a huge line because they were only letting like little segments of people come in at a time. There was a huge line around the building. It's so weird. This is so weird. And it went in really quickly, but by the time that I had gotten my new card, they got the alert that all the toilet paper was out, so whatever. But I did get some paper towels, and I got some really fun little lunch things for me and Oliver. Like, it's really important to, um, for me to have easy stuff to make for lunch for us. So I got a bunch of, like, organic freezer type stuff, like... For lunch today, we had bean, rice, and cheese uh, burritos, and they're organic. They're so good. Got that from Costco, and it was a successful trip overall. I got a bunch of stuff. We're good for a long time. All good on all the lunch stuff and everything like that, so I think it was a success. It was interesting. It's interesting to go back out to these big stores and see, like, all the people, like, super stressed running around because of this whole virus, and... I just can't wait until it's over with like so many people are out of work and out of jobs and it just makes me sad and I'm just waiting counting the days for this to cool down a little bit so let's put all of our prayers out there and hope that people heal and that this craziness can stop soon. I wanted to share this adorable little chair that I picked up. My mother-in-law got it for my son. I picked it up for her uh, curbside delivery from Bye Bye Baby when I went to Costco. And it is just so squishy and comfy. He loves soft things. If you've been watching, you totally know that already. But it is amazing. And I was able to use the like 20% off and it was already on sale. So I think I got it for like 28 bucks. Great deal. This activity center too, I would highly recommend. I think it's from Target or Walmart. Um, I'm not sure because he got it as a gift for his birthday, but he's obsessed with this thing. And something fun to do is like, I will put his puffs or his snacks like in this tray or in here. And it's almost like one of those like cat feeder toys where they have to kind of play around to get their food. <laughs> Entertaining and it is super simple and small and he loves it and i do not think it was that much money i also just wanted to show you guys really quickly i redid my little coffee corner and some counter space on my kitchen and i just got this electric kettle it's amazing it's so fast i drink my hot lemon water in the morning with it i've had this keurig forever it's a dinosaur i do clean the scales so don't worry i got this at ross i don't even know how much but check these compostable coffee pods out if you do use coffee pods do try to make the more environmental decision there's a bunch of different brands that come with those this sign i got from the dollar store and this sign i think i also got from ross or something like that and then over here this used to be like a bottle drying rack and i used to have that over there and it looked so much more cluttered and messy and now the space just is so freed up it looks so much cleaner I'm just really happy with the progress that my kitchen is making you guys I'm definitely bad at making things look cluttered I don't you know I know a lot of moms on here are just so good at decorating so good at putting things together but that's not me and I try really hard and I'm getting better and it helps like looking at your guys' videos and being able to get some inspiration because if it weren't for Pinterest or YouTube, I'd probably still be a hot mess. And I still am, but even more so. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. We are just getting ready for dinner and settling down for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more like this, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.